Welcome to our travel journal from one of the most controversial countries in Western media. Ni Hao from China. We are a German-Turkish family of five traveling the world to educate our children and challenge us to learn about different cultures, meet new people and enjoy life's adventures together. In October 2023, we had a 16-hour layover in Chengdu, China. Even though our visit was brief, it offered us a glimpse into one of the world's oldest continuous civilizations, with a history spanning over 4,000 years. We were captivated by how the ancient culture coexisted with some of the most modern infrastructure and technological advancements we had ever encountered. So when China opened its gates for German passport holders to visit for 14 days without a visa, we knew we wanted to seize the opportunity to explore this global leader further. During our last three months in Australia, we frequently heard You're crazy! China is dangerous! And with three kids, you must be insane! However, we also encountered several friendly and open Chinese tourists who piqued our interest even further. So from Sydney, we made our way via Guangzhou to what we heard is China's most modern city, Shanghai. We arrived in the middle of the night at our hotel in the residential district of Xijiang West Road. So here we are now in China's largest city, a global financial hub and major center for technology and trade. Shanghai is renowned for its striking skyline, bustling ports and vibrant culture. But before exploring any of it, we needed to get breakfast, orientate ourselves and rest a little bit from the long journey. It's like scrambled egg, but it's some kind of pudding. pudding. <laughs> In this video, we invite you to join us for our very first afternoon in Shanghai. Despite our fatigue and Alpine needing to catch up on video editing, I decided to take the kids out to explore the neighborhood. Braving the rain, we headed to the Shanghai Natural History Museum, hoping it would be a delightful distraction from our tiredness. Sport. The entry was surprisingly cheap, but if you want to go, don't forget to bring your passport along. You'll need it to get registered. As you can see, the museum was pretty crowded. But what do you expect on a Sunday? And we later learned that it was a national holiday. Mm -hmm. 
Have you ever seen an exhibition on dinosaur skeleton? This natural history museum reminded us of the one in Berlin, Germany, where my grandpa used to work. But here in Shanghai, it's much bigger and more modern as well. And all the signs are not just in Mandarin Chinese, but also in English, which we didn't expect. When walking into the Africa Hall, we felt a little bit like stepping back into the Serengeti, which we had only visited last summer. Only the souvenir and shopping possibilities could be a bit bigger in the museum, we think, but we compare to the consumer experiences in Australia and the USA. The afternoon passed by very quickly and we enjoyed our walk back to the hotel finding cute cafes, even in old buildings. It was like a spoiler of what Shanghai had more to offer. What is it? Was? Also, das Weiße ist Vanille und das Schwarze ist Schoko. Hmm. Und ich habe? Erbseneis. Wie heißt das? Erbseneis. Klingt <laughs> ganz lecker. <laughs> Meanwhile, Alpai had finished his video editing tasks and went shopping. Papa just went shopping. What did he get? Um, Display. Well, screen protector. Uh, screen protector, okay. What's that? Um, a microphone? Uh, okay, what else? Um, oh, What's, action oh? cam. And a new action cam. Action cam. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you get that? I went to the nearest DJI shop that I found on the map. And from outside it looked a bit... Like it was closed, but it was actually open and they had some like many products in display as well. So I went in and um, there were some like a group of men just discussing something, I guess talking about drones probably, because uh, they had one on, on, on the table. And but actually they ignored me, so no one said anything. So I had time to uh, um, look at the prices, compare prices with, uh, with Germany and stuff. And then at some point they went out to fly this new Avatar 2 drone, which is like FPV, you get like these um, AR goggles and then you can, you can fly it like in real person. So, um, and then later I went in with the actual sales guy and he showed me the two products that I was interested in, which is the new DJI Osmo Action 4, because we still use the Action 1, like the first version, and um, it already shows some, like, I think there's some water leaking in when, when because of the um, many countless styles that we did with it. <laughs> and I think after four years of use, it's time to replace it and also the, the image quality wasn't that good anymore compared to the iPhone. And then um, linked to that I got the new Mic 2 which directly connects to this camera without any receiver and I think it's perfect combo for vlogging. So we'll have some fun. <laughs> And then on top he gave me, uh, because I asked for a screen protector for the mini remote, and he just gave gave this one for free. And actually this one was discounted as well, so he gave me like a discount on all three products, which was nice, and I have a nice bag. <laughs> so this was our first day in China. Coming up, we'll also take you along to experience Shanghai's blend of modern skyscrapers like the iconic Oriental Pearl Tower with historic landmarks such as the Bund. We hope you liked our little introduction video. If so, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more travel videos from China.